Hello and welcome to this course on Awk Basics. My name is Sijish and this video I will show you how to uh, customize output field separator. So we have seen like uh, how to use the custom input field separator. So here we will be discussing on output field separator. Uh, See, so consider uh, we will take the same example file that we used in our previous demonstration. So this is the one and here you can see the input uh, fields are separated with the spaces. So if I use awk uh, print uh, $1 or $2 whatever it may be then uh, if I use file1.txt and uh, if I use comma dollar three, see here input field uh, separator is a uh, space and uh, output field separator. So if I use a uh, dollar four like this, so you can see in the output the values are separated with the space, like from each field. Okay, so dollar two, dollar four, and dollar uh, three four. So these are separated with the space suppose if i want to use a custom uh, field separator for output so i can define that here in the begin part ofs ofs stands for output field separator if i want to use iphone as output field separator i can use so in that case the output will be separated the output fields will be separated with iphone so if i use something uh, different uh, see this one or any character I can use so OFS stands for output field separator so we have defined FS for input field separator so uh, we will take the next example file2 so if you look into this uh, file2.txt so in input the fields are separated with the comma and in output if I want to change it to something else that we can do so here we do awk begin fs equal to comma so fs stands for input field separator then we use semicolon to separate ofs equal to whatever the output field separator if i want to use the output field separator as iphone i can use that so different different statements ca can be separated with semicolon so here i am defining fs as uh, comma and ofs as iphone and here i use print dollar one comma dollar two then sorry uh, i need to pass the file name file two dot txt here you can see in the output the values are separated with iphone so if i use dollar four nothing is there so i can use dollar one here also okay so ofs stands for output field separator so you can have a custom output field separator that you can define inside the begin statement also you can have the custom input field separator that can be customized by setting the value for fs so fs and ofs can be set inside the begin part i hope this is very clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye